Good morning to one and all. This is Bhatma Priya, Assistant Professor in Department of CSE of RMD Engineering College. Today, we are going to see the topic Design Options for Distribution Network under the subject OME 752 Supply Chain Management. Design Options for a Distribution Network. So a distribution network is the most important one that is where to put up the facility for a business is very important choice. And this choice is going to be made by the manufacturer keeping in the mind of the end consumer. So while deciding upon where to put a distribution network involves two important key decisions whether the product is going to be delivered to the customer location or the product is going to be picked up from a pre-arranged site. And another one is whether the product is going to flow through an intermediary location, that is the distributor, whether it is going to flow through a distributor or not. So these are the two key decisions which have to be kept in the mind before putting up a distribution network, that is putting up a facility. So based on these two key decisions, there are six various design options for a distribution network. The various designs are manufacturer storage with direct shipping, manufacturer storage with direct shipping and in transit merge, distributor storage with carrier delivery, distributor storage with last mile delivery, Manufacturer or distributor storage with customer pickup. Retail storage with customer pickup. Now let us see the first design option. Manufacturer storage with direct shipping. In this method, customers, retailer and manufacturers are involved. And in all the methods, we have these aromas like uh, the dotted lines is going to be the information flow and the straight line is going to be the product flow. So first, initially, the customers will be placing an order what all products they are in want of to the retailer. And this retailer will pass all these information directly to the manufacturer. Now the manufacturer will pack the products, uh, what all products the customers have asked for based on the order information, will pack all these products properly and will deliver directly to the customer's location, that is to their home itself. So a customer will place many multiple products, right? So uh, the customers while placing multiple products from multiple manufacturer means uh, each and every manufacturer will be sending each and every parcel, uh, all their parcels individually to the customers. So the customer on his part, he will be receiving many parcels from many manufacturers and in multiple times. So this will be creating a chaos, right? So uh, this is one of the disadvantage. But what it is, the main advantage is there is no need of any distributor. There is no need of any retailer. Directly from the manufacturer, the customers is getting the product, right? So, uh, and one more thing is the timing also. So the customers have to get the products from the manufacturer. So it will be having some delay, right? So the manufacturer has to process all the order information and it has to be delivered to the customers. So the delay also will be there. So to overcome all these disadvantages and all, we'll be going to the next design option in transit merge network. In this method, the customers as usual, they'll be placing their orders to the retailer and the retailer will be passing all these information to the manufacturers. So from the manufacturer side, the manufacturers will be packing all the products Okay, and each or all these products are going to be delivered to a common place that is in transit merged by carrier. So the, in this common place, all the products from different manufacturers, which has been for different customers is going to be received. And over here, the products are going to be sorted out according to the customer's address and uh, it is going to be packed as one single parcel for each customers. Even the customers are going to be placed for 10 or 20 products. All these 10 or 20 products is going to be 
packed into one single parcel and it is going to be kept for a customer. So likewise, all the products are going to be sorted out according to the, to the customer's address and these products are going to be delivered to the customer's location as one single parcel. So this will be uh, uh, avoiding the multiple parcels to be delivered to the customer's location. Another one method is going to be distributed storage with carrier delivery. Here, the customers will be placing the information, the order information to the retailer. And this retailer is already, uh, will be play, play, passing all these information to the distributor. So here, the distributor will be having a warehouse where before, or before itself, all the products from different manufacturers, from different places is going to be delivered to this warehouse. And in this warehouse, all the products are being stocked up. And from this distributor, the products are going to be packed up and is going to be delivered directly to the customer's place. So this is going to be distributor storage and carrier delivery. The next method is going to be distributor storage with last mile delivery, where the customers are going to place the orders to the distributor or the retailer, where the retailer or the distributor has seen, have having a warehouse, have stocked up all the products from different manufacturers and uh, based on the customer's orders, the products are going to be packed and it is going to be delivered in one vehicle where this vehicle is going to uh, take care of multiple customers rather than delivering each and every product in a single vehicle to each and every customer's location as like in the previous method here you are going to reduce the transportation cost by making uh, the products to be delivered to multiple customers on the basis of milk run. That is, milk run means where a vehicle is going to carry the products for multiple customers and these products are going to be delivered on uh, sequential order to all the customers which are in the nearest range and then coming back to the distributor's warehouse place. By doing so, we will be reducing the transportation cost. The next method is going to be the manufacturer or distributor storage with customer pickup. Here, the customers, initially, they will be placing all the order information to the retailer. The retailer will send all these informations to the manufacturer and the manufacturer will be sending all the products to the cross dock DC. The cross dock DC is a distribution place where uh, the products are going to be stocked up and it is going to be segregated according to the locations and the products which is going to be segregated according to the location, for example, according to the states, is going to be delivered to the pickup sites. The pickup sites are the uh, place like a retail shops which is nearer to the customer's place, like nearer to the city, right? And uh, from the pickup sites, the customers will be coming to, to the pickup sites and will be receiving their products and going back. By doing so, we will be more, uh, the transportation cost will be reduced a little bit more because the customers are only going to come to the pickup sites and going to take away their products. So the next method is going to be retail storage with customer pickup. This is the usual one, like the Asian one, where the customer comes to the retail shop, will be searching for the product and will be purchasing the product by paying the money. So these are the six different design uh, options for installing a distribution network. Thank you.